My next guest tonight is a comedian who's making his television debut with us this evening. Please welcome the very funny Tony Deo. Please welcome Tony Deo, everybody. just fed with all my friends. They started naming their kids these crazy, wacky names. Uh, one couple I know named their first daughter Lyric, which is pretty, but it's not a name. It's a noun. <laughs> then they named their next daughter True. That's an adjective. <laughs> Maybe I should be the first guy to name my kid a past participle. <laughs> Here's my little boy, If. <laughs> and my other son, Why. Everyone has their advice on how to get through those early sleep deprivation months? And the advice is always the same. Sleep when the baby sleeps. You just sleep when the baby sleeps. Oh, thank you. I hadn't considered that before. Here's what I'll do. I'll sleep when the baby sleeps. Then I'll do the dishes when the baby does the dishes. And when he notices the bills are piling up, me and the baby, we do some bills together. <laughs> Got my scuba diving license recently. That was fun. We were in class. The teacher was telling us that if you're ever out diving and it gets cold, you can just pee on yourself. <laughs> and it'll warm you up. I thought that was kind of disgusting. But then we were out one day. <laughs> it started getting chilly. And I did it. The good news, it worked. The bad news, I was golfing. <laughs> I'd take my uh, computer into the help desk at the Apple store, but at the Apple store, they don't call it the help desk. They call it the Genius Bar. It's kind of a pompous name, don't you think? Genius Bar? It's like, sure, you know more about computers than I do. But let's be honest, you work at the mall right next to Cinnabon. <laughs> I have been traveling a lot. I was in a hotel a few weeks ago. They had one of those memory foam mattresses. You sink into it and it remembers your shape. Very comfortable mattress. I do not recommend it if you already have self-esteem issues about your body. <laughs> Because the last thing you want to see first thing in the morning <laughs> is that giant crater you left in the memory phone. <laughs> it's not any better on skinny people. I wake up, looks like a Halloween decoration was laying there. <laughs> oh my God, I can see my rib cage. That's not healthy. <laughs> we don't need memory foam. Not in America. We need forgetful foam. <laughs> Most of my comedian friends do not have kids. And I've realized it's very difficult to explain to someone what it's like to be tired for several months in a row. It's a very specific feeling. The best analogy I've come up with is I was watching this documentary once about the Navy SEALs. And at the end of their training, they go through this thing called Hell Week, where they're woken up at all hours of the night. They're wet for some reason, they don't know why. Someone's screaming at them to do something. And if they mess it up, the screaming gets louder and louder <laughs> until they get it right. <laughs> and if you've ever had a new baby, you know, that's pretty close. <laughs> Except it's only a week. Boo-hoo, Navy SEALs. <laughs> Oh, were you tired for a week? I'm sure that was so difficult. I think instead of SEAL Team 6, they should have sent two choppers and new dads in to get Bin Laden. They would have killed him just because he woke the baby up. 